Today I'm going to show you how to set up Discord bots on your own server and how to create a server to make that happen. In last week's video, I talked about four ways you can use Discord bots for improving your emotional health. If you hadn't had a chance to check that out yet, check that out now. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Discord bots on your own server and how to create a server to make that happen. So the first thing you can do here is you can either download the application for your Mac or PC or you can just go ahead and create one online and use Discord as a web app. So just chosen a name, setting one up, it's going ahead in my browser, welcome to Discord. You don't need to know how old I am so let's just zoom past this part over here. You can use Discord in a bunch of ways. In this case, I'm only creating a server for me. Just go ahead and choose the one right on the top, which I've done. And um, I just gave it a random name. Just create a general chat or if you want a text chat, just call it whatever, just call it text. And there you go. Now you're going to install your bots in the general chat. Oh, you have to sign up with an email just so that you can have your chats sent to you. Again, I've blurred this out. Uh, I guess I could have left it open, but security and whatnot. I'm going to actually install the Tupperbox bot. So you just go to the website, Tupperbox, you can see it's just invite it. You invite it as if it was a person. Uh, you choose your server. In this case, it's my, my, my secondary account, so I only have one server. But if this was your main account, you would have all the servers that you admin. In order for you to add the bot, you do need to verify your email address, um, which in normal in normal Discord use, you would already have had this done. Just make sure you've done that before you get to this stage. Otherwise, it's going to give you that little red error. So again, go to my email, click verified. Sped that up a little bit so you don't have to see all the details. What's in my inbox? And there you go. Authorize. Just give it all the permissions. Okay, so there we go. Closing up some tabs to clean things up of that now we are in our nice and shiny new discord server the thing to remember is that we are going to install and activate our bots in the general channel this is where you should come back and refer to if you ever get confused on how to set up your bots or what your commands are so the first thing you need to know is that tull comma sorry tull exclamation point is how you talk to the bot. It tells the bot that you're talking to it. So we're going to enter tall exclamation point help, first of all. And that's going to give us a list of all the commands we need to operate the bot and um, to set it up. It's going to be easier for you when you're actually doing it on your own Discord. But for now, we are interested in tell register. That is how we set up a bot. And you can do this for as many bots as you need to. Um, but we're gonna start with one and I'm starting with Donna. Tell exclamation point register Donna. Oh yeah, then you need to do your handles. Uh, your handles are the kind of notation that's going to tell Discord that this isn't a regular text you're sending as you. This is this is text you're sending as the bot. And it can be anything. It can be like a chevron. It can be like in this case, I've chosen those square brackets. It can be the greater than and less than sign. It can just be even one uh, signifier in the beginning. I forgot to enter text in between my handlebars or whatever they're called. Yeah, in between the brackets, you have to enter text in between so it sets it up. And now that I've done that, it's acting correctly. And if I scroll back down again, that will remind me what my 
what my uh, brackets were because when you have a couple of bots you might forget which bot uses which bracket so come back to your general come back to your general chat uh, and just check through which bot uses which brackets if you ever get confused now that we've got the bot set up we want to give her an avatar so we're going to use tall exclamation point avatar and uh, again type in the bot's name so it knows which bot you're talking to in this case I don't have an avatar it's just the default uh, setup so it has nothing so I'm just gonna go online grab myself an avatar download it set it up okay Using the same command, tall exclamation point avatar, all I have to do now is add the image I've downloaded. Okay, so Donna is set up here and we're gonna go into the text chat channel where I enter text as myself. And I've entered the wrong brackets here. I've just remembered to use the right brackets. That tells Discord that this is actually Donna typing, not myself. It takes a while. And there you go. The avatar is filled in and it's worked perfectly. You can use the same method to register other bots with different characters. I'll show you that in a second. So now I'm gonna register a different bot just in case you have, want to have more than one, but I'm gonna type in the exact same command I used for registering Donna. I'm just gonna type in a different bot name. And the important thing is to change the brackets, otherwise you're gonna create confusion. So I've just changed it to the greater and less than sign, or chevrons, depending what you wanna call them. I pre-downloaded an icon this time, and I've just uploaded all of it in one go. As I hit the register thing, I've uploaded the avatar as an image attachment and it's all created that in one go. So I could create two separate channels for having two different types of conversations. For this one, I'm just using the exact same channel. It's called text, just to show you that those two bots, they can also chat to each other. So there you go. Landon is there, and I decided Donna would say something mildly catty, but kind of amusing. And there you go. So I hope that's helped you get an idea of how to set up Discord bots. And remember, you can create as many bots and as many channels as you need to.